one of the customers that I've worked with for many, many years now has actually been along this journey. So originally, you know, back at the beginning, they had physical web servers in a physical colo center and they had physical appliances providing web app firewalling. And life moved on, it worked, but then it could be better. So the first step they took was to move from on-premise web app firewalls to in-cloud firewalls. That, as we know, added distributed denial of service attack protection. Yeah. You get some content delivery capabilities based on that. And these, you know, those three things are just, just from almost doing the same things, but using the Imperva cloud service rather than installing boxes at your data center. Yeah. What it then did for them was open up the ability to start doing more. Yeah. So as their web capabilities evolved from just being a public website, to being an online store, to being a customer portal, to being the biggest part of their business, what these folks did was start to expand their capabilities. So the first part we saw was the move to cloud. After that, they took an interest in bots. As you said, not all of the people on your website are human. Yeah. And even before they'd started moving to API services, mm -hmm. they were seeing an awful lot of bots. Yeah. Now, some of them are good. Mm -hmm. We like the Google bot. The mm -hmm. Google bot puts us in search results. Yeah, right. yes. We don't like the one that's trying to see if it can hack into our website. So they added the bot protection to start classifying and protecting against those bots. Mm -hmm. And you know, life was good again. Then they started moving their platforms. You know, I... They've started going from a bunch of stuff in a data center yeah. to microservices you know, in containers you know, I... on public cloud or in colo cloud. Yeah. But they've now got to the point where I'm quite sure somebody there knows where most of the services are, yeah. but I'm also pretty sure that nobody actually knows oh, where 100% of it is, right. which is helped by the fact that they are a DevOps organization. They have tribes that own the services yeah. and one tribe isn't really expected to know all the details of what another tribe's been doing. Yeah. So these folks have you know, tried to wrap security around it. Mm -hmm. They've realized that trying to stay ahead of tribes of developers is a never ending battle. Yeah. So they've taken up the API protection to say, we know they're there, we'll protect what we know we have, but also if things turn up that we didn't know we have, we'll know about them right. and we'll protect those as well. Yeah. So they've come along that journey, you know, almost reflecting the move into cloud, into APIs, and you know, our next initiative with them is to actually look then at the applications. Right. What's the application doing? Is that normal for that application? Right. Or should we be doing something to stop it? Right. 